We are seeing new video of what led up to the aerial rescue of two firefighters in the Passaic River. You can see their rescue boat go plunging down the dam. One of the firefighters remains in the boat. The other desperately tries to stop it as it's ripped away by the water. And now we're learning more about what went into that rescue. CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports. New Jersey State Police Trooper Shamik Sangi dangling in the air by a hoist as he attempts to rescue two Clifton Fire Department first responders stranded on a boat in the Passaic River. Just try to remember everything we learned in training. Two years of training with the team's unit and his first rescue. He seamlessly pulls out the first firefighter, the second more challenging, as he tries to get to the boat. If I could have got like my foot or my hand onto it, I would have been able to pull myself onto it, but just trying to deal with the wind pushing back and forth. Sergeant Jason Jorgensen in charge of the hoist. I'm trying to guide or tell the pilot what to do to get that the rescuer into the, the boat on the ground. The second rescue, he says, difficult because it wasn't a straight line down. He was already close to the ground. He was already in the rotor wash. He was already moving. This video shows how two Clifton firefighters lost control of their boat, sliding down the falls after trying to rescue construction workers with Fletcher Creamer and Sons, cutting trees along the banks in another boat. Our boat, the current took the front of our boat and basically pushed it towards the dam and it, the boat went over the dam. Lieutenant Enrique Villa, the pilot of the state police chopper, fighting the winds. They kept pushing me to the right, kept pushing me to the right. And like Sergeant Jurgens says, the longer the altitude makes a difference, the longer that person is out there, the more chance of a swing starting to envelop. Just to be able to go out there and help people is the, basically the job. That's what, that's what I come to work for every day. As for the firefighters rescued. And they were all in good spirits. They felt, um, they felt bad. But um, they're doing they're doing okay. The Clifton Fire Department boat still remains in the water. The construction company has removed its boats. We reached out to Jay Fletcher Kramer and Son, but no one has gotten back to us. In Garfield, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS Two News.